Hi, Eileen Hurley here. Hope you're all feeling fine. COVID-19 is keeping us all inside. I, I know that for me, I exercise every day with my husband and my daughter and it makes me feel a lot better. So I'm gonna bring you this video and hope that you keep yourself moving in this time where we all need to keep our social distance. All right, so let's start with a little, just a little bit of movement marching. That's it. Very good. Get yourself moving a little bit. <sighs> breathe in. Uh, pretty much the most important thing you do all day is breathe. Yeah, got to keep breathing. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Now a little heels with a bicep curl. Nice and easy now. Just warming up that body. We're just going to do a little bit of work. Not really sure how long this video is going to be. I'm aiming for about half an hour. I think a half an hour is pretty good for the day. Yep, and then we're gonna lunge back. Push those arms forward. Very good, very nice. Keep yourself moving. Giving those, warming up those shoulders, getting those legs going. You're looking good. Hope everybody's feeling fine. Yep, 2020. It's a time we'll probably always remember. Let's bring it across now, reach and reach across, reach and across. Reach across that table, get that little shaker of salt, reaching across. Now we're up in our cabinets now, reaching up high. Reach up high, reach up high. That's it, reaching up high. Oh yes, breathing. Oh, those muscles are getting a little warmer now. Very nice, very nice. Reaching back across. All right, very good. There you go. Good. Very nice, keeping it going. Now, this little bicep curl. Bicep curl, here we are now. Try to make that a curl in your leg now. There you go, add that leg curl. Nice. Now, if you can't do the leg curl, that's okay. Just tap your toes, that's fine. Just tap your toes. You can just tap your toes, no big deal. No big deal at all. Just keep moving, warming up that body, warming it up. On four, three, let's bring those knees up now. Knees up. Now you can do the bicep curl if you feel comfortable with it. You can alternate, make it a little bit trickier. Up to you. Or maybe add a little extra balance. Bring that arm up, arm up arm up. Four, three, two, back to that simple march, 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 march. Now I have my chair here. I'm going to turn it so that in case I need it, I can have it right there for balance. I'm going to ask you to bring your right heel out and then sit back a little bit. Hold that. Four, three, two, and one. Now bring it back and hold it back. Bring it back. Bring your arms up if you like, or you can hold on to that chair. It's up. Four, three, reaching up. Two, and one. Now let's switch legs. Left heel comes out. Flex that toe back. Lean back. Now if you can, whatever feels comfortable for you. Four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg back now. Hold it back, press that heel down. If you need to, hold on to your chair or bring your arms up. Reach in, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back to center, nice job. Bring your arm across, nice little march. Nice and easy now, that's good. And other side, four, three, two, and one arm up, if you can. If it's here, that's okay. As long as you feel that nice little stretch, that's all that matters, that's all that matters. Oh, up and over, up, all right. Now you should feel nice and warmed up, a little bit more warm than you were when we first started just a few minutes ago. Now remember, it's always good to just get that body moving, get those joints going, okay? Now we're gonna move into a little bit of a strength exercise. Now some of you, if, if you can't quite get the squat, you could take maybe a pillow from your 
the living room or wherever you are, here's my chair. You could take, you could take a pillow and put it right here and just squat down on that pillow and come up, okay? But for most of you, not all, I think you can do it without the pillow, okay? Just make sure that pillow doesn't slip and slide around though, okay? So I'm gonna move back just a little. We're gonna do two sets of squats right here, okay? So you're gonna sit down in that chair and come up. One, two, very good. Three, four. Now, if you can't hit that chair and you only wanna go this far, that's okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, take a little rest. Now the other thing you could do if you wanted to is you could do every other, where you go down one, and then everybody comes up, and then you come up on the next one. That's up to you. There are all kinds of variations that you can do. Okay, so don't think that you have to do exactly what I do. Do what works for you, okay? Any kind of movement in your body, as long as it's not harmful and it doesn't really hurt a lot, is really good, okay? Because you want to keep moving. Movement is good for your joints and your body, but it's also good for you mentally to keep moving. I know, like I said earlier, every morning I get up with my husband and my daughter and we do a tape and, and it's really good for me. I feel so much better after. Here we go. Let's try another one, okay? Here we go now. One. Pushing your butt back, two, pushing into those heels, three, four, five, just five more, six, seven, try to keep your chest lifted, eight, nine, and ten. Nice, very nice, okay. Great, great. The other thing that you might want to do is you might want to have some water handy, okay? We're going to use these water bottles later if you can go get some right now. Not quite yet though, but we will be using them later, okay? So now we're going to move on to doing some split lunges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my chair on one side of me and I'm going to put the other chair on the other side of me, okay? And I'm going to get myself a drink. It's always good to drink water, okay? So I'm gonna have a drink. Ask yourself, how you feeling? On a scale of one to 10, okay? One being, oh, I'm sitting on the couch watching TV, I'm almost asleep. 10 being, oh my goodness, I'm working so hard, I can barely move, I can barely keep up, I can barely do it. I would like for you to maybe feel like a five or a six right now, okay? Not super hard, I'm not getting you to work real hard, I just want you to get up and get moving. Let's have a drink. Okay. I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, I got my chairs here. Okay. And I'm gonna ask you to take a big step forward. Now I have these here because this does challenge your balance, okay? We're gonna work those legs and those muscles, but it also works your balance. So if you wanna hold on because you need some help with that, please do. But if you can do it without it, two thumbs up for you, okay? Up to you though. Okay, so we're gonna do 10. This is your right leg. 10 on your right, we're gonna start with 10 on your right. Ready, here we go. One, two. Now if you don't can't do that far, just do three. Just try to shift your weight. Four, five. If you can, give it a little bend, six. Seven. Try to keep your shoulders back. Keep your chest lifted. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nice. Now, I apologize if I count wrong. You know me, if you know me well. I tend to have a little bit of challenge sometimes. I get thinking and counting, and I can't do it all together. So just do your best, okay? We're going over on the left side now. Ready? Here we go. 10 of them, if you need to, hold on. One, two, three, 
Maybe hold on with one hand. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nice job. Let's take a little break. So, how's everybody doing? Yeah? Eating healthy, I hope. Yeah? It's always good to keep yourself eating your fruits and vegetables and have some good solid proteins. Try to stay away from all the snacky food. It's not good for you. Okay? All right, back on the right leg. Here we go. Ready? Right leg. Keep your shoulders back. Abs engaged. Here you go with that right leg. It's one, two, three, four. Hold on if you need to. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice job, guys. Nice. We just have one more leg to go. One more leg. Then we're going to move on. We're going to move on to um, some upper body after that. Okay, so we've done enough with our legs. Okay, so we got just one more on that left leg. We're going to do that lunge. Okay, now if you need to, remember you can hold on. If you only want to take a small step forward, that's okay. If you want to take a great big step, good for you. All right, do what you can do. Do your best. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Try to make sure you're shifting that weight. Nine and one more is ten. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. We're going to keep it going now. We're going to keep it going. What I would like for you to do, if, if you have them, and I don't know where they went. I had two, two water bottles here a second ago. Hold on. I, they were here. I don't know. Huh. I'll be right back. There they were right on the floor, I didn't see them. But anyways, if you have water bottles, that's what I'm gonna suggest you use as your weights. Maybe you have soup cans, or maybe you have something else that you put in a, in a bottle like this that you drink lemonade, or I don't know, you could see what you've got, okay? See what you've got. All right, so now what I'd like to try to do is do some bicep curls. And you can do them standing. You can do them standing. Or if you're kind of tired because we've been standing up for a while, you can do them sitting, okay? Sitting right here. I'll do my first set sitting. Nice and tall, abs in, back nice and tall, shoulders rolled back, but not so far back that it's not comfortable. Nice and easy. Here we go. Ten of these. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very nice. Good job. Keeping those. Remember, we want to just keep ourselves moving. If you don't want to do the next round with that, we're going to do one more. If you don't want to, maybe try doing a with, um, with and standing. So you're gonna put your feet about hip distance apart, knees are bent, shoulders are rolled back, abs are in nice and tight. 10 more, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. I'm going to put my bottles right here. This is the one that I'm using to drink from, and I think it's a good time right now to have a drink. All right? Breathing, drinking water, both really important. You want to make sure you get enough water in your diet. 
Okay, it's essential. How you feeling? Are you doing good? All right. Let's take these. We're going to do triceps, kickbacks. And you can do that if you have a chair like I do. You could do that in your chair and lean forward. Keep your abs in tight. You could do that. Bring your, bring your water bottles to where your chest is and just kick back like that. Okay? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice, see? You can do the next set just like that, but if you want more, you can always do it standing up. Put your feet about hip distance apart. Push your butt back, and you're going to kick back. Ten, nine, nice and straight, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, hey, looking good, guys. Looking good. Very proud of you for tuning in today to move, to get yourself going, do something a little different. I know, I know we've all been working hard at trying to keep ourselves busy and moving at home. All right, I'm doing my part putting this out here for you and I hope it's helpful. I really do hope it's helpful. All right, so now take your water bottles, okay? And we're gonna try lifting them just out to the sides, okay? So your feet are about hip distance apart and you're gonna go up 10, nine, eight. If these water bottles are too heavy, seven, just put them down. Six, just the movement in itself is good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, we'll try that one more time. <sighs> watching a lot of TV, watching a lot of movies. Yes. And the other thing I'm doing that maybe you're doing too, I don't know, is I'm, I'm cleaning out my house. I'm getting rid of crap. Yeah. They say that that's a good thing to do right now. You know, get rid of all that stuff that you haven't used in a couple years. Just get rid of it. You're never going to use it. So I'm, I'm trying to do that as well. All right, we've lived in our house about 14 years, and so there's quite a few things to get rid of. Okay, here we go. Ready? Up we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. All right. Very good. I'm just going to check my cheat sheets. You guys know that I always use them. I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page together here, and it looks like we are. All right. So now I'm just going to try doing some rows. And then we're gonna look into doing a little bit of balance, okay? So here we are, feet are together. We're gonna lean over, and we're gonna take those water bottles, and we're gonna go row. You're gonna squeeze, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Here we go, ready? And 10 of them. 10, nine, eight. Now you can do this sitting in the chair if you want. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. See, I'll show you. Real easy. Just push that chair. You don't have anything on the sides. You just lean over and it makes it. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Nice job, guys. Very good. All right. Being strong is really, really important, and we all know that it's good for your bones, and it's good for your what? If you're strong, you have better balance. So now we're going to just go in to a little bit of using that strength, and we're going to incorporate it 
into some balance moves, okay? So what I'd like you to do is get so your chairs are alongside of you. And if for any reason you should feel the need to sit down, I want you to sit down, okay? Mm -hmm. And I want you to just march, okay? Just marching. Your chairs are right here if you need them now. Okay, you can stay holding on if you like. What I'd like you to do is look over to your right while you march with your feet forward. 10, nine, your hands are right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now, if there any reason that didn't feel comfortable, then you come right back to center, okay? All right? Now we're gonna try doing that to the left, okay? Your chairs are here. You can hold on to them the whole time if you need to, or you can put your hands down. All right, here we go. Looking over to your left, and here it goes. 10, nine, eight, holding on if you need to, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, back to center. Good job, guys, good job. Now take it slow and be very cautious and, care and careful. We're gonna turn and we're gonna look up to the ceiling. We're gonna do the same thing, counting. 10, hold on if you need to, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, now let's try that looking down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Yeah, that's a little harder when you have to move your head, isn't it? Yes, so be careful with that, all right? All right, all right, all right. All right, now, I want you to try to pretend you're in your apartment, something you probably do all the time, is you reach for things, right? So your calves are coming up and down. What I want you to try to do is reach with your right hand up to the ceiling, right? And if you need to, you can hold on with your left hand. Or you can just do the calf raises and reach up like this, okay? Keeping those calves. So we're gonna reach, right? Here we go. 10, nine, you can hold on if you want to. Eight, seven, six, five, you can hold on if you need to. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, oh, whew. yeah, that's a little, burns up those calves a little, didn't you feel that right there, huh? Yeah, I did. Okay, now let's try, we're gonna use that left hand, all right? You can hold on to your chair if you need to, and we're gonna reach up, 10, nine, eight, seven, or you can hold on with both, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, great job. Boy, you do feel that in your calves, don't you? And we do do a lot of reaching to get things out of our cabinets, so that's a good exercise that you can use in your daily life. All right, now, I remember I had these two water bottles, right? Here they are, right? What I want you to do is I want you to Put them down on the floor. I'm going to turn my chair so that my chair is like this. And I'm going to pick those water bottles up and I'm going to put them on those chairs. Okay? I'm going to put that water bottle down and I'm going to move it to this chair over here. And I'm going to take this water bottle and you can hold on to your chair if you need to and come on up. And then I'm going to pick that up. Now, if this is too hard for you, just skip this part. Go fast forward into the next, okay? Just switch right through this. We're gonna put that water bottle down and bring it over here, okay? We're gonna take this water bottle and put it down and come up and put it here over on this side, okay? Now, if that's too hard for you, just skip that. Fast forward through this part of it, okay? All right? But a lot of times, things are on the floor and we need to go down and pick them up and put them up on a chair or maybe on a shelf, right? And let's put this down and up 
And then we're going to pick this down and put that back up there. All right. I'm not really sure how many times we did that, but I think we're good. All right, so now what I'm thinking we can do on my cheat me I have. Let's just do a little bit of abdominals, okay? All right, now, we're gonna take that chair, gonna sit down in that chair, and I like to use a prop when I'm doing abdominals. So I'm gonna take this right here, and I'm gonna put it right on my belly button, and I'm gonna just gently push that in, and as I roll over, I'm gonna make my abs nice and tight, so it goes over 10, and up nice and tall. Nine, up nice and tall. Here, see I'll turn sideways so you can see. Eight, rolling over. Seven, nice and tight. Six, up nice and tall. Five, four, three, two, and one. And back to center now, we're almost done. We have one more round of abdominals and then we'll get to the cool down, okay? And I always like to think of the cool down as kind of like the reward for the work that we've done, okay? So let's try that one more time. We've done 10 of them, ready? Oh, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to put that right here on my chair. All right, bring your right leg forward. We're going to do a little stretching and lean forward. Nice. Feel that nice stretch up the back of your leg. Feels good, right? And up. And other leg. Flex that foot, lean down, keep your chest lifted, and over we go. And back. All right, I'm going to move my chair back just a little so you can see my feet. Okay, so now we're going to turn to the side. Bring that leg back. Push your chair out of the way. Okay. Nice. Lean ever so slightly back. Hips nice and straight here. Ah, oh, yes. Bring that together. And let's turn towards the back, okay? Keeping nice and tall and straight, we're just gonna turn towards the back of our chair. Hold that, and let's go on over to the other side, okay? Nice and slow now. Don't ever go turning real fast from one side to the other, okay? Because that tends to make you a little dizzy. Back, okay, toes pointed down, and we're gonna lean back, okay? Feel a nice stretch right here in the front of your hip. Take that leg and bring it up. Okay. Sitting nice on the chair, nice and tall. Turn and face the back. And back to center. All right, now bring, you can move a little bit further to the back of your chair, bring your right arm across. switch, bring it across, and up, and back, roll your shoulders, roll your shoulders back, put your hands on your knees and let yourself roll over, slowly, nice and tall, okay, now I want you to think about breathing, okay, pretty much the most important thing we do all day, right, and out. Lean and relax in the back of your chair. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, Four, breathe out, two, three, four. Take in all that's good with that breath in, two, three, four. Relax out, two, three, four. One more time, breathe in all that good air, breathe it in. Send it to all your muscles 
And as you breathe out, relax, relax. I'd like to leave you with a little Emily Dickinson poem. Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I want you all to think about, oh, well, there's my kitty. I want you all to think about hope. That's what we have now. And we'll always have that. And I hope to see you all very soon. Stay healthy, keep calm, and I miss you all very much. Goodbye now. <laughs>